Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, just want you guys to watch this video and see what I'm talking about concerning those people, those tribalistic people who don't understand how this government works, how Nigeria government works. So you need to watch this video and understand how the Nigeria government works. They don't care about you. The people who go there and collect some money, you understand, they only collect it and put it in their own pocket. You are there fighting for, for is here, is my tribal person. He get gray hair. Why you then sort them? Do this thing. You need to watch this video. You understand the people who is there. They will tell you how the thing works. You understand what I'm saying? Because I have worked with many politicians. That's why I came here to do what to enlighten you. But some of you will come here and started insulting people who are just trying to do what to help you understand how Nigeria government works. You understand? Because of your tribal sentiment, because you are thinking that those people they care about you. Me, if I want to do it, I will sit go there and collect my own pocket and, and you know fill up my own pocket. I don't care about you guys. You understand? But when you see somebody who came here to do what? To fight for you guys. You need to understand that you need to respect them because the person they're risking life for Una. Instead of you guys to do what to come together and also help the person also share the video and also make sure that things work well for the person you people will collect two thousand and three thousand dollars to fight against the person so now if i thank god everybody they collect and go to go to for this country now you know everybody they collect and go to go to nobody nobody will say things they work well for her but the people will still get to two two thousand where did they give those two two thousand before now the thing say they go chop that to two two thousand or four four thousand what did they give them for two years or four years or eight years where anybody won't want to stay for that place. You understand? I want you guys to watch this video and listen to this man I think they talk, you know, now the person with the, 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 the this man get IQ, he get, he get, he get something for head, you understand? And that's why they know this thing they give on But you know, I know I understand. Now when I go see him, you understand? Before in the next two or three years, when I go understand the thing where people they talk, they you when I go understand the people where they come, they fight for now, right? When, anytime when I see them, when I go give them twilight, when I watch this video, and when, when I go testify, when I go testify as the Nigerian government in the work, when I go uh, testify the people where they where they help these people, they achieve their dreams, where they help these people, where they they, they, they pilot, we go, we go brainwash you now. You understand? And I go stand here. Hey, now my tribal person, I need to protect them. That your tribal person, they protect you. You need to understand this. For you know, if you go to any police station now and you say, hey, I vote for APC, I beg you, give me four for free. Or I be Yoruba, give me four for free. I be Igbo, I vote for this person, give me four for free. My brother, nobody sends you. You understand what I'm saying? You need to understand this thing, how Nigeria government work. Watch this video. Make this man yarn you more so that your brain go open. This is a lunatic brain. We don't know the hear word. We don't just use and they fight, fight for. Listen, this will not try by sentiment. This thing where they make on the shark. Yeah, they protect my heritage. I they protect my tribe. My brother, nobody send you. I won't tell you now. Nah, nah. When I just watch this video, when I go testify and understand how the thing they work. You understand? Still remember your homeboy, my car was in the microphone. Just watch this video now nah, and tell me. The beginning is to say to you that Ikechuku, if some Nigerians were telling you that you shouldn't have given me opportunity to speak, tell them that so many television houses and individuals had approached me to speak on different issues since I left office and I declined. Two reasons why did I, why did I decline? Two reasons. My publicist said don't speak and I chose to be my publicist and he's very angry that I'm speaking today. He knows. Second reason, what is new to say? Nigerians don't react to anything. Somebody said they made Buhari. Did I say anything? I didn't say anything. It's not, it's not important. Nigerians choose who to believe and who not to believe. Nigerians choose who to vote and who not to vote. Even if you come to a Nigerian man's house and kill his, the mother, and the father will continue his life. Nothing bothers you. Nothing. So why do I waste my time? There's nothing that our chairman said that is new. Absolutely not new. <laughs> I've said this several times. I've taken so many risks. I've said too many things. The fight from Good laws government to various governments. You all knew about it. My, my actor for C's. I was shot at. If I was killed, what would happen? Nothing. So you would die a useless life. So what did I choose? I, cho I chose to stay in my house quietly. Fortunately for me, I got admission to study in the in Nigerian law school. And rule number one is, like they told me if I came here, 
you are our property, you have no right to go anywhere unless we permit you. That's the rule in the Nigerian law school. So, anybody who says, why have I not seen you? Ah, I'm a student of Nigerian law school, until I graduate, I can't, I can't disobey them. So, I chose not to speak again because there is nothing to say and because Nigerians will do absolutely nothing. If you say it's a lie, nine of ten Nigerians are shoot them tomorrow and nothing will happen. If you say it's a lie, it's a lie. In fact, the worst thing about Nigerians is that even when you claim you're not uh, committing any crime and they pick you up tomorrow, we said it is a thief. Nigerians will join. They will cross it and you go to prison for nothing. The greatest fear I have is being found in prison for nothing. And you can be found in prison for doing So, I don't want to repeat what I used to say before because you hold it against me. Those who are close to me know we repeated yesterday. I will just only use one word, I won't use the rest. I say it's a hopeless situation. Is it a lie? So let's go a bit further. <laughs> let's go a bit further. You will be shocked that I won't talk about Buhari's government for two reasons. And I won't talk about uh, President Tinubu's government. One reason. Why well, I won't talk about Boris government, I'm a participant, but I, they asked me that question yesterday. What moral decision do you have to criticize Boris government, having been part of it? That was the argument. I do, if I want to argue it. But, again, that was a huge debate amongst us, and we are all agreed I should say nothing about the government. So I now told them, if I will say nothing about Boris government, I will also say nothing about President uh, Tinibu's government. Because you know the problem. Instead of Nigerians finding solutions to their problem, they are committing suicide. I'm praying for you every day that you should continue to commit suicide so that by the time I wake up one day, all of you have died. I can now reap the benefit of your death by taking doses. <laughs> what other people resist, like in Ghana, as it's going on now, like in Kenya, is what Nigerians, no worry, not before years, after four years, you go, the man wins the second time, whether by magic or by crook or by reason. <laughs> you know, not only eight years. No be put on no be put on go so, no be why don't go so. It goes soon go. And that person will come and repeat the same thing. You'll be saying that until the day God will come for those of us who are who are Christians. So I, I have chosen to be like you. Say nothing here and do 